New rule, with the Super Bowl only a week away, Americans must realize what makes NFL football so great. Socialism. That's right, the NFL takes money from the rich teams and gives it to the poorer ones. Green Bay, Wisconsin has a population of 100,000. Yet this sleepy little town on the banks of the Fakafino River has just as much chance of making it to the Super Bowl as the New York Jets. Now, me personally, I haven't watched a Super Bowl since 2004, but I get it. Who doesn't love the spectacle of juiced-up millionaires giving each other brain damage on a giant flat-screen TV? It's no surprise that some hundred million Americans will watch the Super Bowl next week. That's 40 million more than go to church on Christmas. Suck on that, Jesus. It's also 85 million more than watch the last game of the World Series. And in that is an economic lesson for America. Because football is built on an economic model of fairness and opportunity, more like the democratic philosophy. That's why the NFL literally shares the wealth. TV is their biggest source of revenue, and they put all of it in a big commie pot and split it 32 ways. Because they don't want anyone to fall too far behind. That's why the team that wins the Super Bowl in the next draft picks last, or what the Republicans would call punishing success. Baseball, on the other hand, is exactly like the Republicans. I mean, their economic theory is every man for himself. The small market Pittsburgh Steelers go to the Super Bowl more than anybody, but the Pittsburgh Pirates? Their payroll is 40 million. The Yankees is 206 million. The Pirates have about as much chance at getting in the playoffs as a poor black teenager from Newark has of becoming the CEO of Halliburton. The same angry white males who hate Obama because he's redistributing wealth just love football, a sport that succeeds economically because it does just that. To them, the NFL is as American as hot dogs, Chevrolet, apple pie, and a second giant helping of apple pie. 